Measuring blood pressure during pregnancy. Learning objective. By the end of this video, the participants will be able to record blood pressure accurately and interpret the readings. Measuring the woman's blood pressure at every antenatal visit is important to rule out hypertension during pregnancy. Hypertension is diagnosed when two consecutive readings taken four hours or more apart show the systolic blood pressure to be 140 millimeters of mercury or more and or the diastolic blood pressure to be 90 millimeters of mercury or more. High blood pressure during pregnancy may signify pregnancy induced hypertension that is PIH and or chronic hypertension. If the woman has high blood pressure, check her urine for the presence of albumin. The presence of albumin, one plus or more together with high blood pressure, is sufficient to categorize her as having preeclampsia. If diastolic blood pressure of a woman is above 110 millimeters of mercury, it is a danger sign that points towards severe preeclampsia. The urine albumin should be estimated at the earliest and the woman should be referred to higher facility for further management as she is at risk of developing eclampsia. Woman with PIH, preeclampsia or imminent eclampsia requires hospitalization and supervised treatment at a 24 hours PHC or FRU. Measure blood pressure after making the woman sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Sir, I can check the blood pressure. Equipment. Two types of PP apparatus are commonly used. Mercurial sphygmo manometer and digital or automated. Ensure that the BP apparatus and stethoscope are in working condition. Stand on the right side of the pregnant woman for checking the blood pressure. Place the BP instrument on a flat surface, level with the woman's heart. Check that bulb is properly attached to the tubing. Check for any cracks and leakage in the bulb and cuff and the mercury column is in open mode. Ensure that the pointer on the dial or scale is at zero. If not, adjust it by rotating the knob attached to the dial. The dial or manometer should be at the same level as the examiner's eyes. We are going to demonstrate measuring the blood pressure using mercurial BP apparatus. Wrap the cuff around the right upper arm and secure it. The lower border of the cuff should be about one inch, that is two fingers above the hollow of the elbow joint, placing the tubing in front. Note the systolic blood pressure by palpatory method. With the left hand, Feel for the pulse at the wrist of the arm to which the cuff is tied. With the right hand, tighten the screw of the rubber bulb and squeeze the bulb to inflate the cuff until the pulse is not felt. Note the manometer reading at the level where the pulse is not felt. Increase the pressure by 30 millimeters of mercury above the level at which the pulse disappears. Deflate the cuff gradually till you feel the pulse again. Note this reading on the manometer. This is the systolic pressure. Deflate the cuff by loosening the screw of the rubber bulb.
Note, you cannot measure diastolic BP by palpatory method. Now record the systolic and diastolic blood pressure by auscultatory method. With the left hand, feel for the brachial pulse over the hollow of the elbow joint. Put the stethoscope in your ears. And the diaphragm on the brachial pulse. With the right hand, inflate the cuff slowly till you do not hear any sound of brachial pulse. Inflate at least 30 mm of Hg higher above the level where the brachial pulse is no longer heard. Deflate the cuff very slowly and gradually. Listen with the stethoscope, keeping it on brachial artery at the elbow joint. Note the reading on the manometer where the sound is first heard. This is the systolic pressure. Keep deflating the cuff slowly. Follow the sound and note the reading where the sound disappears. This is diastolic BP. Deflate and remove the cuff. Close the mercury knob. Record the reading on MCP card and inform the findings to the woman. Also tell her, in next visit, do not forget to bring this card along. This apparatus has a cuff, an electronic monitor showing digital display of systolic and diastolic BP readings. Start button. The cuff is attached to upper arm. Is connected to an electronic monitor that automatically inflates and deflates the cuff when you press the start button. There is no need to listen with a stethoscope. The digital display shows the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure. The woman should not move her arm during the procedure. Key points. Blood pressure of a pregnant woman must be recorded at every antenatal visit to rule out hypertension. Blood pressure of 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury along with proteinuria is a sign of preeclampsia. A woman having hypertension and proteinuria is at risk of developing eclampsia.